guys, and welcome back to another lip balm review. This one I have been meaning to review since last summer. The entire line of them I have been meaning to review since last summer, and this is the first one I have gotten to. I majorly dropped the ball on this, mostly because they fell to the bottom of the box of stuff that still needs to be reviewed, and I kind of forgot about them until recently when I was digging through there. I was like, oh yeah, those are a thing that exists that I have. <laughs> so, okay, whatever. So this is by the brand Pogo, which is owned by the parent brand Ecolips, which, honestly, I, I've heard of them, but the only products I've ever had by them are the Pogos, which I mostly got because they're cute. <laughs> so, and I was intrigued by their list of flavors, so because I'm me, I, I bought out every single flavor that they've got and then kind of forgot to review them or even open them because I'm SMRT. Okay. So this one is in the flavor Apricot Peach? Like, no, no, look, there's, there's a question mark at the end of that name. I don't know why there's a question mark at the end of the name. Like, is this an ambiguous flavor where it, it could be apricot peach? We, we don't really know what it is, so we're, we're just gonna slap a question mark on the end there. Um, so that's a thing. I don't know why. None of the other titles in this line are like that. Only this one. So it, it honestly makes me a little bit nervous about it. But yeah. So anyway, getting right into it. Format-wise, I think these are dome type inside there. It's hard to tell for sure without it opened, but I think they're dome type. We'll find out if I'm right in a minute. But packaging-wise, they look like little sirens. The different flavors are different colors, but look, like if you spin around, like it looks like a siren. That's why I keep calling these siren-shaped, because they remind me of these. But these especially look like you could stick it on top of a little... Every time. Every friggin' time, guys. But it looks like you could slap it on top of a cop car. Don't fall this time, please. Actually, I should do it on my arm. It's flatter. There. Haha. -ha. Slap it on top of... I give up. <laughs> it's just gonna fall again. So, looks like you could slap it on top of a cop car and it'd be a little, like, siren. Like I said. <sighs> All of that, just so I could say that. I am not very smart. So anyway, um, they have a website. It's on here. It's www.pogobomb.com, and Ecolips offsets its manufacturing with 100% renewable energy. Woo! Uh, but yeah, so, directions, twist off cap, apply to lips and kiss the world. It reminds me of EOS in the way that they wrote the directions for use, because theirs are like, twist off, pucker up, smile, or, or something like that. Um, but yeah, this reminds me of that very much, so it immediately gives me kind of a positive feeling about them. But yeah, ingredients. We've got beeswax, sunflower seed oil, um, fair trade certified cocoa seed butter, peach apricot flavor, coconut oil, hemp seed oil, ooh, um, <laughs> uh, vitamin E, rosemary leaf extract, that, that's a different one. Um, candelula flower extract, not candelilla, that's, that's different, this is, a, this has a U, candelula. Um, stevia leaf extract, and then an asterisk with certified organic ingredients. Okay then, what are these teeny tiny little graphics on here? Okay, so, there's a fair trade certified really, 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 really tiny on there, and the one next to it, I can't even read, it has a letter B in a circle, and certified above that, it actually, remember when I bought that, uh, that magnifying glass just for moments like this, why don't we use it, <laughs> might help, I cannot read what the hell that says, so let's take a better look, can we make it out, dude, even with this, Certified. It starts with a C, but beyond that, I honestly can't read that, and that's a little bit upsetting. Um, I give up. Everything else I can read clear as day, but that one, not so much. I think they did it on purpose, so you can't tell what it is, and then you have to wonder forever what the hell's on there that they're certifying. Oh well. <laughs> so, I guess that's the thing. Um, 
So yeah, these are, I don't think they're a limited edition, but it is part of a set. And depending where you buy them from, like if you buy them from Ulta, they only have half the flavors there, but if you go to the website, there's like twice as many. And some of them look like virtually the same thing with a different title. They also repeat a lot of the colors. So I'm not sure if they're the same or if there's subtle differences or what's up. We will eventually get to the bottom of that, but today we're just working with this one. This is the one I was most excited about anyway, aside from the banana, so may as well start with it. Uh, anyway, price point on these I believe is like $3.50 a pop from the Pogo website, if I remember right. Again, I bought these a year ago. I can't remember everything off the top of my head. Probably should have looked this up before I started filming. But I didn't, so is what it is. However, they had um, a deal last year where you could try one out for free and they'd just mail it to you, and I got one for free. But because I'm me, I, I have to have all the things, so I bought all the rest. Uh, sturdiness and durability of the lights. Actually, let's just get this open first. And I know one issue I have with them immediately already, and that is the fact that without that... Oh god, okay, two issues already. That smells horribly plasticky. Uh, plastic For a brand that prides itself on being so eco-friendly, it smells like the stinky, toxic plastic. I am not a fan of that because that's one of the biggest chemical sensitivity triggers for me is the plastic smell. Oh joy. This is going to be an interesting review then, isn't it? So anyway, has the logo stamped on it and raised slightly right here. You can kind of see it in the light. But my issue that I was going to mention is that nowhere on this does it have the flavor printed on it. So my way that I'm going to approach this, because it's a weird type of uh, texture on it, I've got a silver Sharpie. So I'm just gonna take my Sharpie to it. Was it peach apricot or apricot peach? Apricot peach, okay. So let's just write it on there, including the weird, bizarre, um, question mark, apricot. God, this is gonna look so cheap, I don't care. I have to know what they are. Peach. Question mark. Apricot peach? Yes. Okay. So I should probably be careful of that while it's wet, but in case anybody was curious for a way that will work on labeling things like that, metallic sharpies are your best friend. I just like the look silver over gold, so I used silver. And I felt like it would show up the best on black, but anywho. Um, also, let us find out if I was right about my guess. Where is it open from? Oh! Oh, okay, okay. So I thought this whole black part came off. No, no, no. It's just the colored part. It unscrews. Oh dear god. Okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about that and it looks like it's gonna fall a frig out. That is very questionable looking all over. Can, can you guys see the texture of this? A lip balm should not look like that. Typically, if a lip balm looks like this, it's got bacteria in it. Awesome. There's no way it could have expired that fast. Come on, really? That, ugh. oh, it feels gross. Ew, oh my God. Okay, so you know what? I'm not putting this on my mouth. Holy crap, that is disgusting. Why does it look like that? Oh my goodness, I'm like seeing if it comes off with my finger. No, it, ew, it's down in it. Ooh, all right, well, I guess I'm gonna do like I do when I go to review something and it's freaking expired or has mold on it. I'm not gonna put it on my mouth, but I'll do my best to review it the rest of the way and like swatch on my hand and try to tell texture-wise how it feels from that. That is so disappointing, holy crap, and this legit feels like it's going to fall out. Um, and the bottom thingy is like a plunger where it goes boink, boink, for no apparent freaking reason other than to make you crazy. What the hell is with this? I don't understand. Oh my god. So it just fell out. 
I think that answers our question about how sturdy these are. The fuck, guys? What What is this? What the hell? And all the way straight through to the bottom, you can see stuff. Look at this. Are you guys seeing all the spots in there? That is not okay. Holy crap. Um, so I'm just gonna jam that bag down in there. That is not going on my mouth. Um, let's see. Will it pop back into place? I don't think it will. Awesome. I feel like if I shake it too hard, it's gonna fall out. I told you it was hella wiggly, and I didn't know why. Now we know why. Is this... Is this so that they can be replaced? That they sell refills of these? What is this? I don't understand. I... I am baffled. I have never had a lip balm like this. What the hell? Like, the only other lip balm I particularly know of that has refills is BB Bartoons. And, and uh, I won't say acknowledgedly. Admittedly, I don't own any of those because I've heard the quality isn't that great on them, and they're really expensive. I don't feel like paying $8 for something just to be marginally cute. I honestly don't find them as cute as most people do. It's probably because I'm too old, but... Yeah, um, these, if this is why it falls out, these are probably the only other ones where it's meant to be refillable, but I don't believe I saw anywhere on that website where they're selling refills, so what's the deal, Pogo? I'm, I'm very confused right now. I am very confused. And semi-alarmed, not gonna lie. Well, this is all kinds of disappointing. I thought this was going to be a really positive review, and this just took a turn. Holy crap. Um, the amount of product in these is, is it listed? 0.15 ounces. Really? Really, though? Like, I would have put money on it, but that's a quarter of an ounce, because that looks like the EOS amount, but... No, they're claiming that's what's in a standard stick mount. They're claiming this and, like, this are the same thing. I'm skeptical. <sighs> well, sturdiness-wise, we, we saw how sturdy these friggin' things are. Or aren't. <laughs> like, but how? What the hell? This just is not good. Now I see why... Okay, there was all the hype building up to these, and then they came out, they shipped out, people got them, and people were disappointed and never talked about them again. I see why. I totally see why. I'm so disappointed right now. Holy crap. Um, special features doesn't have any, other than its weird novelty-ness. I guess if it's meant to be refillable, that's a special feature. I don't think it's supposed to be, though. I think it just falls apart and isn't well made. Like, what what possible purpose is this weird, like, squishy thing serving other than making it fall out in your hand to be difficult? What What is with this? I'm just, I don't understand. I'm very confused and <laughs> a little frightened. Um, uh, can I shove it back in there? May as well. It's not really trustworthy, usable. I may as well just jam my hand on it. Oh, that's gross. That is so gross. It doesn't matter how many layers down I go. It's still like that. Ah, oh, and I have it on my hand now. Ew. Ew. Oh my god. This is terrible. It doesn't even smell that good after all that. Holy god. What have I done? What have I wasted my money on this time, guys? I should have tried the free one first before buying anything in this case. What the hell? I've never had one fail this bad straight out the gate. Other than, like, the moi lip balms. I take it back. Those were a bigger fail than this. At least this, I can smell it without wanting to vomit. But there's that. But on the other hand, it looks so untrustworthy you could not pay me to put that on my mouth. So there's that. I, I don't understand how they failed this bad. I don't know if I just got a dud, or if they're all gonna be like this. But, um, I got this one shipped separately from all the rest, I should also point out. And it was shipped in a plastic baggie from the company. The others were, like, in the blister card packaging. So I'm like, 
the fuck? <laughs> and they sent this one with a free sticker, so I'm like, I, I, I think I should have known. Right from the get-go, something was up with this one. But for all I know, maybe something's up with all of them. And maybe that's why they had to literally give them away. I don't even know. Holy god. <laughs> so uh, these are not medicated, so I guess we're gonna move on to um, describing the weird scent of these. Okay, normally I love peach anything, and or apricot. There's something about this one, I don't know if it's spoiled, I don't know if there's something wrong with it, but there's something in there that automatically is like triggering a little bit of gag reflex for me. Something is not good in there, and I don't know what it is. And yet I'm gonna go back to smell it again to describe it even better for you. Because I'm just a genius, and apparently a glutton for punishment. So it's like... I would describe this smelling more apricot than peach. There is a difference to those who don't know the difference. I suggest you get something apricot scented and peach scented and check them back to back because apricot's more of a slightly more bitter smell. But um, it's like a less ripe peach, basically. Um, and to eat one, they're a little bit tougher too, but um... Ugh. That is not good! I'm so bummed! I was really looking forward to this, and I'm like, oh my god, if this one's this bad and this is the one I was looking most forward to, what does this say about the rest of this frigging brand? Oh god. Um, well. It also feels like there's some bizarre chemical smell in there. It's kind of like how the Sweet Peach Chapstick Duo smelled straight out of the gate, but you know what? This smells a million times better than that, even being artificial. And that one's organic, and it smells like that. So there is no excuse. At least chapstick, they're, they're synthetic. There's supposed to be chemicals there. That That is literally how they make their products. They are straight-up chemicals. If this is made from all-natural stuff, why does it smell like that? But it's not appealing in any way, shape, or form. And yet I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. Oh my god, that's a terrible sound! Why? Why? It's like teeth chattering or something. Okay. That, even scrubbing that much on my hand, it still looks fucked up on the top. Oh boy. <laughs> I swear to god I better not get a disease from doing this. Um, I'll have a lawsuit on my hand if I do. But, um... I was hoping maybe the chemical smell was coming from the plastic, but no. Nope. Even swatched on my hand. It still smells just as bad there. But I can tell you from swatching it on my hand that it's super thin. And frankly a bit sticky, which is a turn off. Usually organic ones are not sticky. Ew. And oily. In a bad way. Feels like an oil slick. Um... So, it's also, unfortunately, absorbing really quickly into my hand. So, I guess if you wanted a product that'll absorb quickly, awesome. However, I don't trust this shit, so I want this off ASAP. So, I'm going to cut the video here and be back in just a second. Okay, so that just took three times of washing my hands to get it to feel like it's not still slimily on there. So, um, one thing it does tell us, it might have actually held up to a drink test, but again, I am not putting that on my mouth. That is disgusting in every possible way. And the more layers that it went down, I I'm seeing dots of dark stuff in there, which can only mean one thing. And my hands were freshly washed before I started this, so it did not come from me. That's really gross. Lovely. I I'm so glad that I wasted my money on that. Ugh, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I really, honest to God, did not expect it to be a fail to begin with. Much less did I expect it to be this epic of a fail. This, oh my God, I cannot even believe how badly <laughs> it's failed. Um, 
it sucks because it's cute and I wanted to like it. It's like the same story of the Moa lip balms all over again. They were so cute. I wanted to love them. I wanted them to be my new favorite thing, but they were such shit quality that they were unusably bad. This is that all over again. I'm really hoping this is just a dud and it's not all of them, but if they're all like this, dude, I don't think I'm going to buy anything from Eco Lips, honestly. Um, I, I realize I've had this sitting around for a while without opening it, but it's not even been a full year. I've had this since August or September. It's March. So, at most, if I bought this in August, so September, October, November, December, January, February, March. That's seven months. Even an organic lip balm should be able to hold up for seven friggin' months. Most of them are perfectly fine a year or two down the line, especially if they're sealed and unopened. This, I don't know what their excuse is, but that's, that's awful. I cannot believe how bad that is. And the fact that it just falls the fuck apart, and it looks like it was made to, and there does not seem to be refills available, so why does it do that? Why was it designed this way? I don't know. I have so many questions, and I doubt we're gonna get any answers. But I am going to tell you, you should probably save your money when it comes to this brand. D don't waste it on them. At least not on the Pogos. If you want to try some of their other ones, like Mongo Kiss, I've heard good things about them, but this, you know... I knew it was weird that there was so much hype for such a limited amount of time, till people actually got them in their hands, and people love taking Instagram photos with them, but when it came time to actually review them, everybody seemed to be in agreement. They're not very good. However, a lot of people also tend to sugarcoat. Even when they're saying something's bad, they still sugarcoat just how bad a thing is a lot of times. I am no bullshit. I tell you exactly what I think of things, and this I'm pretty sure we've established exactly what I think of it. This is getting a 1 out of 10 rating. Yeah, I went there. How many things have gotten a 1 this year, guys? Hardly anything, right? I think maybe once or twice something has gotten a 1. If even. This just earned one. So, that was less satisfying than I was expecting. I hoped it would at least go click when I slammed it down. It just went thump. So upset right now. <laughs> it's so disappointed. Oh my god. Just I can't believe it failed that hard. Like what the hell? <laughs> These were supposed to be so awesome when they first came out, and all this time, I I was expecting them to be good, but alas, no. Now I feel stupid for wasting my sharpie on it. <laughs> that was even more satisfying than. Sounded me when I slammed it down. So I guess that about sums up everything with it. So, uh, yeah. If you like this video, <laughs> click the like button. Uh, if, if you're um, not subscribed but you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. Did, dropped it again, but I don't even feel guilty now. Did any of you guys buy this one? Let me know in the comments, did any of you have a similar experience with this? Because I'd really like to know if I got a dud or if they're all like this. Or if you got another one from this brand and it was like this. Please let me know. Uh, as well as anything else, feel like leaving me down in the comments. And until next time, see ya.